everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Man, I'm doing great. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing because we are back again doing another tutorial. And today, this is going to be our first Minecraft 117's Caves and Cliffs update, part one, Minecraft house tutorial. And I can't wait to get this started. This house came out really awesome. It has everything you need in order for you to survive your first couple days in Minecraft. And also, we got a goat pen right next door attached to it. So it's super cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section and let me know how hyped you are for Minecraft 117's Caves and Cliffs update part one. I can't wait. June 8th can't come soon enough. Now let's get this build started. And here we go with the block palette. So we're going to be bringing in some polished deep slate, the stairs, the slabs, and also the walls. Some regular deep slate, the cobbled version with the stairs, and then also the tile stairs with the tile slabs. For the roof, we're also bringing in some of the brick, a little bit of the granite, and also some of the waxed exposed copper, the stairs, and the slabs. Make sure they're waxed, though. If not, they're going to change. So also, we're going to be bringing in some calcite, some diorite, a little bit of spruce, and a little bit of oak, and a couple other things along the way. And here we go with the dimensions. Everything's all laid out in wool, so just count out the blocks and find yourself a nice spot. We're going to get this started right now. Now, we're going to be starting with the polished deep slate. Let's start right here in this corner, and let's lift all of these up by two to start out. So right here, one and two. So let's count. This is a one. So two, three, four, five, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's turn this corner. We're gonna go another one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then from here, another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now from here, we're gonna turn this corner and go in by one. And let's go up by one, two, and three on these. So this is another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Here, we're going to turn this corner and go up another one, two, three, and four. Over here, another one and two. Give it a space of three. This goes up one, two, and then three over here. So this is going to be the little pen on the outside bit. And then we're going to start working on this side. So we're going to go right on the inside. Let's count. From here, it's a one, two, three, and four. And we're going to go in by one on this side and then in by one on that side. Then we're going to have our little tower here in the center. For right now, though, just so we can have a different color to this section, let's just use our cobble deep slate. Let's go up one, two, and three right here. One, two, and three. One, two, three. Turning this corner up by three. I'm going to go up taller, but for three for now on all of these. Three on this side, three here, three here, and then another three over here on this side. Leave that little middle point right there. So this little different color variation you have right here is where our tower is going to go up. From here, we're going to go up by three right there. Give it a space of two, go up by three, space of two, up by three, right here. We're going to grab our polished deep slate stairs, and we're going to go upside down on these two, upside down on these two, another upside down on these two here. And then let's go ahead and bring this line down right here with the polished, another here, and another on this side. So we have this way up. We're going to grab our cobble deep slate stairs and go one, two, one, and two. And then right here on the top, we're going to cover it up with some cobbled deep slate. So this is going to match the stairs going all the way down like this. And then we can go ahead and cover up this section as well. All of this down here at the bottom. And we get a little flooring of the cobbled deep slate just like so. Right from in here, we can break that piece off because we're going to have a way into this tower. And then we can get rid of the little placeholder. And this is cover this part up as well. Now let's grab some oak logs. And we're going to go right here on this corner. So count one, two, and three. Right here on this side, oak logs going up. One, two, three, and four. Give it a space of one, two, three, four, five right here on the sixth one you have a five gap space in between let's also take that up by four i'm gonna go right to this edge take that also up by four and match that side right here by four so a five block gap space in between right here now we're gonna grab some strip spruce logs and we're gonna cover this whole part up with our strip spruce just like so going to knock down these two and these two because we're going to make some windows upside down stair right there and an upside down stair right there of our spruce. I'm going to take these two out but put them sideways like so. We're going to turn this corner and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to cover up this whole section with our strip spruce logs going up like that. Leave this one closed for now and we're going to put a chimney in a second. Turning this corner, uh, same thing pretty much we did on the other side uh, where the windows are going to go on one right here, matching that side. I'm going to put a little upside down stair, turn that one sideways. We have a window. And then here, instead of a window in the back, we're going to put our door. So take these three out, upside down stair right there. 
I'm gonna use some regular white glass for this. We can use any color or fences or gates. It's all good. Then on the inside, we're gonna turn this corner, take this stripped spruce to the top, take that stripped spruce to the top, and then we can take this cobble deep slate to the top as well. Take that down right here, and we're gonna put an upside down cobble deep slate stair there to get into that tower section right here. Now we're gonna work on the roof. I'm gonna be using the uh, deep slate tile stairs right here on the edge and take it all the way down on this point. We're gonna put a pop-out log on this side. Let's put one in the middle, Let's put one on this side like so. I'm gonna grab some deep slate tile slabs and go down this line right at the top bit and then put another stair right here and then put another one on this corner. I'm gonna put our tower there in a second so we're not gonna go through that part but we're gonna do the same thing over here. Just leave it right to this point and then we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna put a pop-out log here, one on this side and one on this side. We're gonna do our stair going forward here, another stair going forward upside downs on both and then we're going to use slabs all the way up so a slab on top a double slab here a double slab there double it back and put one more on this corner like so and then our slabs in the little gap right here jumping back on this side we'll do the same thing so we're going to go with a stair here stair on this side upside downs on both slabs going up just like so matching the other side just like that I'm gonna grab some spruce stairs. I'm gonna go upside down right here on all three of these logs. And I'm gonna pop this log all the way out, an extra one and two right here. So two out and two out right here. I'm gonna grab some oak fences. I'm gonna go up one and two on this side, one and two here and one and two here connecting those logs. I'm gonna put a regular fence here, regular one on this side. I'm gonna put a regular fence on this edge. I'm gonna grab a gate. I'm gonna put a gate on that corner and in the gaps just like that. I'm gonna get an oak trap door and I'm gonna go all the way down two and two here and then two and two right there. Then I'm gonna grab some campfire blocks and we're gonna put them right down this line. Make sure you go on the inside of that bit too and take it down all the way even on the inside there and we're going to go ahead and extinguish all of these then we're going to get some spruce trap doors and put them on the top side there of the campfire blocks and get some uh, spruce buttons and put those in front of those exposed logs i'm jumping back here in the middle i'm going to grab a mix of the calcite block and the diorite and we're going to put it on this back end so for right now let's just put our calcite all the way down like that i'm going to put it all the way down like that too like we just replace a couple of these maybe these two maybe one over here on this side and one in the corner. So it looks like that. We get a nice little texture variation to that back part. And then since we're back here already, let's add those buttons right there to the exposed logs. Then I'm gonna grab some spruce stairs and go upside down on these three logs here. I'm also gonna put one over here on this section and then one over here on this section. We can go ahead and repeat that on this side too, right next to that log and then one over here. I'm gonna grab our spruce trap door. I'm gonna put one underneath that stair, one underneath this stair. Now back here, I'm gonna put a spruce trap door on this section. Let's go another one, two, three. Let's put one here, one more on this side, and let's leave this open. We're gonna put our chimney popping out. Now for this section here, for the roof, for the connection, I'm gonna put a mix of brick, a mix of granite, and a mix of the waxed exposed cut copper. Again, just make sure they're waxed. If not, they will change the state. So for right now, just a random mixture like this. Let's put some brick, let's put some granite, and just randomize it like so. This is gonna be slabs, so let's do a mix of these here, a little mix of granite and brick. And then back here, we can just put full blocks or double slabs, it doesn't matter. Uh, so it looks just completely randomized and it gives a nice little bit of texture variation. And it should look like that. Once we get to this point, we're gonna grab the same deep slate tiles and we're gonna go all the way down to the end and cover it up just like so. And then we're just gonna repeat this over here on this side. But before we do, we're gonna start lifting up this tower. So for right now, this tower is elevated. One, two, three, it's on the third one, right? So let's go another four, five, six. Let's do it on these as well. So we're up by six right now and we're gonna go 10. So we're gonna stop at 10 right here with the cobble deep slate. So right there up by 10, we just have to fill in this little middle section with the same combination we did here. And it should look like this when you're all done. Now we're gonna jump back here to this section of the tower. Let's put a couple slabs right here at the bottom. I'm gonna start knocking out a window here. So I'm gonna go right from here, we're gonna go up one, two, and this one we're gonna go one, two, and three, and four right there. I'm gonna grab the polished deep slate. I'm gonna put one on this side and then one here. We're gonna have a two high window and we're gonna add some uh, just regular white glass to that. Let's go ahead and do it over here as well. So right from this line, we're gonna go same thing. One, two, three, and four. I'm gonna put a polish here, one on top and the glass right there. And then one more on this side. So knock that out. One, two, three, knock this one out. 
two glass, and we have some windows here. Now let's grab a spruce fence gate. I'm gonna open it up and put a campfire block on top. Let's extinguish that. I'm gonna do it on every one of these right here. So let's put our spruce fence gate, open that up, and then let's extinguish that campfire on top. Also, I'm gonna grab a regular bush. I'm gonna put it right here underneath that section, one underneath here, and then one more on this side. I'm gonna grab an oak trap door and put this on the bottom part here so it gets a little bit of support on that. Then from here, let's grab some polished deep slate stairs. I'm gonna put them upside down on the top section, on this section here, over here, and on this side. Then I'm gonna grab the same wall version of that and we're gonna put it here in the sides. I'm gonna grab the polished deep slate and we're gonna go down this section. Let's put one on top of that wall, three here, one on top here, three on this side, one on top of each of the walls and then go down that section so we have this look to it. Now let's grab the polished deep slate slabs and we're gonna put one on each of these, one in the corner, one in each, just leaving that middle gap open, going all the way around like this. Then I'm gonna grab a mix of the diorite and the calcite block and let's go up. From here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and five total. Let's take this all the way up by five on every one of these corners. And then from here, we're gonna knock down these two in the middle so we can have a window on all the sides. And then you can come back in here and do a little bit of texturing by adding some of the diorite. You don't need to add this part if you just wanna keep the calcite, uh, or you can add really any other white block. Even bone block might look good. Mushroom stand block might look even better. Then I'm gonna go with the white glass again. You can go again with any color glass or trapdoors or fences. Then I'm gonna put our open gate but on the top part here and our campfire block to the side. I'm gonna do this all the way around. Then once I have that, I'm gonna grab our bushes and I'm gonna put it in the little middle section here all the way around. And then from here, we're gonna work out a roof. So let's grab the same tile stairs we used down there and let's do this look to it. So we got this little corner bit. Let's do it on all of the side bits all the way around. So it should look like this in the end. Then from here, we're gonna go with upside down stairs. I'm gonna go with stairs going forward, upside down stair in the middle, and a slab on top. Now let's do this on all the sides. So we're gonna go with upside downs, stair forward, stair forward, upside down, and a slab. Again here, upside downs on both, two forward, upside down here, and a slab. And one more time, upside downs on both, two stairs forward, upside down, and a slab here. Now we're gonna do the same mixture of bricks, granite, and uh, waxed exposed copper. So let's go ahead and do a mix. I'm gonna put a stair here, let's put a stair on that side. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Let's put a stair here. Let's put another one on this side, mixing and matching all the way around like so. It could be any variation of it. So all the stairs should have this look to it, connecting to the other stairs like this. Now in front of the deep slate towel slabs, we're gonna do uh, either a double slab or full block of any one of these. Let's go around like that. Let's do a granite, let's do a copper. Let's do another brick right there. It should look like this. Then we're gonna put some uh, placeholder blocks here on top. I could put a brick there. Let's go with a copper. Let's go with a couple granites right there. These are placeholder blocks because now we're gonna go with full blocks again. So I'm gonna put another full block here. Let's put another here. Let's put a granite on that side and let's put another brick over here. So I'm gonna go with more placeholder blocks. We're gonna put one on this side, one over here, one on this side, and then one on this end. So, so far we have this look. Then we're gonna go with slabs now. So I'm gonna go with, uh, let's go with a granite here. Uh, we're gonna go with a cut copper. Let's go with another one. Let's go with a brick. And then I'm gonna just double up in the middle here. Let's just go with a uh, double granite, just like that. So we have this roof look, but on the top, I'm gonna go with one more bit of detail. Let's go with the granite on top. And then I'm gonna go with the little lightning rod, but I like it facing this direction. So we have the bigger part on the bottom and we have that look to the roof. One tiny bit of detail underneath here, I'm gonna put a slab just to round it off and make it look a little better. So we have this look to that roof. Now we're gonna jump back over here on this end and we're gonna work out the fireplace. So for this one, let's use uh, bricks for now and we'll mix in some cobblestone after. So we're gonna go right up the center. Let's go up one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna actually break that piece off, go up another one. So we're gonna go in by one here and let's go up another one, two, three, and four total. I'm gonna put a stair facing down right there. Let's go up here, let's go up another one, two, three. I'm gonna put a stair facing this way. Go up one, two, and here. We're gonna put a stair sideways. I'm gonna go up one and two, stair sideways here, one on this side and then one on that side. But I'm gonna come back in and just give a little bit of texturing, just mix in some of the cobble in here so it's not just all the same. So this looks something like that. 
that looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna put a campfire on top and surround this in our oak trap doors like so. Now the house is done, but I wanna add one more bit of detail. You don't need to add this part if you don't want to. This might be a little expensive, uh, but if you're done right now, you're good. But if you wanna add this overhang, just to cover up this area here for our goats. This is what I'm gonna do. Let's get rid of that bit. I'm gonna grab our uh, oak fence. And let's go up one, two, three, and four on this side. I'm gonna go up one, two, three, four on this side, up by four over here, and then up by four over here on this side. Just like this. Now let's grab our campfire blocks and we're gonna go down this line right here and go ahead and make sure it goes overhanging to that end. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put these campfire blocks all the way covering up the goat pen. So it should look like this, but I wanna make it look a little more patchy. So I'm gonna break in some of these here and I'm gonna add some of the spruce trap doors. And it's up to you if you wanna make it look like this. If not, you can just go ahead and leave it with uh, the full campfire around. But look at this, this looks really, really cool. Makes it look a little bit older, like it's been here a very long time. You can even pop some of these out and maybe even add um, some bushes through it. So maybe something like this, maybe drop a little bit of the bush here on the side. You could do some on in random spots. So let's do this. Uh, just in certain areas, not the whole thing, just in a couple really cool spots. So something like that looks pretty good. Now a couple of last minute finishing touches. You're gonna need a couple gates right there. On this side here, we're gonna put a trap door of our oak sideways, and we're gonna put a door here. We're gonna come on this side and put a door right there. So we got a couple doors on each side. So let's jump back here, and I'm gonna also add a couple bushes underneath the windows, and let's add some trap doors next to it, and trap door shutters on the side just like that. I'm gonna do the same uh, trick over here as well. Let's get a gate, open that up. Gate here, open that up. Campfire block, one on this side, one on this side, and extinguish those. Also, don't forget a couple slabs we missed right there, but that's it. The house is complete. <laughs> what do you guys think? This looks pretty cool. Now, let me go ahead and give you guys some inspiration with exterior and interior details so the house will look even better. Now, let's get some interior inspiration started. So right here is we're gonna have our little fireplace area, but we can go ahead and cover that up. That's no big deal because right here on the bottom, we're gonna be placing down a furnace. I'm gonna go with an upside down stair. I'm gonna be placing it right over here and then continue this line going up just like that. I'm gonna put a crafting bench over here on this side. Let's put a cauldron there. Uh, let's grab a barrel. Let's put one and one on each side. And then up here, we're going to grab a couple barrels. And right here, let's put a loom sideways, just like that. It's like a little shelf. going to grab some trap doors. And let's go down this line and one over here. Let's put a, maybe a lantern on one side. I'm gonna grab a chest. We could put some over here and they open. So we can maybe put a double, maybe a single one on that side. Drop maybe a flower pot. Let's put another pot here. And let's grab a cake. Let's put one down there at the bottom. That should be perfect right there. Gotta put that flowering azalea in that pot and it looks so good. Uh, this one, I'm gonna leave it as an actual cup. That's the plant though, that's fine. Coming back over here, I'm gonna drop some composters on each side. Gonna make sure we compost that so we can use anything. I'm gonna use this beautiful plant right there. There. Let's put flower pots on both. Let's use the flowering azaleas on both. And let's actually grab the flowering azalea leaves and put that on top. So we got this cool little bush going up. And in the middle here, I'm gonna put a little trap door and let's put a lantern on one of those. That's fine. Adding a little bit more shelving. I'm gonna add just a couple trap doors on the top. Let's put a little chest there and maybe up a grindstone and a stone cutter there. A little workstation. That should be cool. Over here on this side, we're gonna do a little dining area. So I'm gonna put an oak stair, an oak stair over here. Let's put a scaffold in the middle. Uh, and then grab some oak trap doors, put one on this side and one on this side, open those up. And up here we can do some more shelving. So let's do a couple like that. Let's maybe put a couple barrels. And let's put a little flower pot with a flower on top. And maybe a painting, we could put one right there in the middle. Uh, and maybe a small one there in the center. I'm gonna get some carpet down here. Let's put a little bit of the cyan in the middle. That should be pretty cool. Maybe bring in some white. Let's put a little cross pattern on that. That looks awesome. Now jumping over here in the tower, let's make a way up to the top. But before we do that, I'm gonna go right from this line right here, the top part of the calcite. Let's put a uh, little oak beam here. I'm gonna put some trap doors. I'm gonna face them this way and this direction. And this will be the rooftop here. On the top, we can put a little grindstone right there. Let's put a chain and drop a lantern there. I'm gonna grab a bed. Let's put it on this side. So right here, this is the front of the house. I'm gonna put a bed over here. Uh, let's drop a little barrel. I'm gonna go with a couple barrels here on the top for extra stores and some trap doors there. Uh, we can put some carpet. Put the same cyan right there. So go one, two, and three. This is gonna be my way up on this end. So that's the front right here. So I'm gonna put a ladder going all the way to the top right there. And then up here on this side, put a little note block there in the corner. I love using that block. 
I'm gonna grab an armor stand, let's put that here, and let's just throw our first armor set right here, our first iron bits, that looks cool. And let's just throw a painting over here on that corner, and yeah, we should be good, that's perfect. We can never have too much storage in a little starter house, so let's put a bunch of barrels stacked up on the corner, put a bunch of chests over here as well, why not? We can even do another little bit of detail here. Uh, let's do another little shelving unit, some more barrels, some more chests, and I think we're good to go. Uh, maybe some lanterns there. You can do pretty much anything here. You can even have a ladder that goes down to a, a, a mine or a basement with even more storage. For right now though, this looks pretty good. We can add a bunch of extra junk up here, uh, but this is pretty much it for the house. And there it is for some exterior inspiration. Check this out. I did use a mix of the cobble deep slate with regular deep slate, also a little bit of tough block and some of the mossy, and it looks so, so good here in this combination. Also a little bit of coarse dirt. We have some moss block on the end. I added a bunch of the flowering azaleas, the regular azaleas too, the leaves, the both varieties, and also a little bit of the moss carpet. Uh, the candles, I almost forgot about the candles, but I have them on the outside bits here, lighting up the way with these awesome brick walls. And you hear them, right? There they are, we got the goats hanging out on the inside and I was able to add a little bit of decoration there. I love these guys, these are my favorite. They're so cool, man, I love it. But then on the outside bit, added a bunch more of the bushy bushes over here. And then also some of these have uh, some hidden lighting there with the moss carpet there. So we got some jack-o'-lanterns and this place is looking so good. I added a bunch of details here. Also a little bit of firewood on the outside next to the chimney. And that is looking so, so awesome. What do you guys think? <laughs> this is so cool. Let me know what you thought of our first Minecraft 117 house tutorial. Let me know if you want to see more 117 builds going forward. What block pellets would you like to see? What blocks you want me to see? What you would like to see me use for some upcoming episodes? But let me know what you want to see coming up. But for right now, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. I Catch you guys on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.